Hi everyone, once again, uh, and thanks, Puneet, for those very kind words. I'll. Uh, the topic given to me is challenges in land position, grid connection, on grid, on ground construction issue. So I will be dwelling upon these. Uh, a very brief put in a introduction about uh, the company. As Puneet mentioned, we have uh, garnered quite a few awards. We got the Energy Startup of the Year Award from ET Now in conjunction with Entrepreneur India. And uh, we also got uh, the Tech 30 Company of the Year Award from Your Story and TechSparks. In terms of broad numbers, uh, on the utility side, we have done uh, roughly around 75 megawatts, out of which uh, uh, we have done 23 megawatt in Pavagada. And uh, there was a 50 megawatt of solar thermal as well. Uh, there are very few people who have uh, running solar thermal as of now. So our project in Godavari Green in Jaisalmer uh, is operational and uh, well to do. Uh, in terms of projects under execution, we have roughly around 150, 105 uh, projects under execution as of now. On the rooftop side, uh, we did uh, roughly around 10 megawatts last year. So the topic that I have been given, I'll uh, draw down mainly from our uh, uh, case study of the 23 megawatt project. So, like a lot of the points uh, have been uh, covered by Monica, as uh, mentioned by Puneet. So, we were able to do this 23 megawatt project in roughly around two and a half months. And uh, what are the things that were kept in mind? Uh, some of the things uh, which helped us complete the project in such a small time frame. Uh, we will roughly go through this, especially with focus to uh, land position, uh, grid connection, and on ground construction issues. So as far as land position goes, um, you have to be very careful about the costing of the project. So uh, there has to be a buy-in from the sellers. So until unless you have, before the site selection, you have to have a broad understanding from all the sellers so that it should not happen that uh, once you have started accumulating land and then they, some of the sellers come at a later stage and say, now we want to increase the price. So you have to have a broad understanding from the whole community and your land aggregators have to be on board and ensure that the prices are going to be uniform otherwise there will be large amount of price escalation especially because there are multiple farmers involved and each one has his own views uh, there are very few states in india who have got a single farmer owning 100 acres uh, i think madhya pradesh and uh, uh, some other states have very large land holdings but most of the states have arable land and uh, farmer holdings are not so large so you have to have multiple farms. Uh, number three is the title of the land has to be very, very clear. Otherwise, what happens, you have you will start a project and then there will be issues relating to the ownership of the land. So you, can, you cannot have a project started and then held up in between to clarify those issues. So you have to get the title verified and then only you go for your land position. Uh, aggregation has of the land has to be done at one moment as far as possible. Uh, so this has to be ensured. The other point that is there is you have to ensure that any conversion happens simultaneously along with the um, uh, position of the line. Like you, do, you are doing registry, simultaneously you should also start any conversions because what happens? Uh, both the things take time, especially any conversion takes one and a half to two months. So you cannot, uh, until unless you do the activities parallelly, you will lose on time. Now we will come to the grid connection related issues. Uh, most important of course as we all know is right of way. Um, this again is something again which has to be planned at, right at the beginning. Um, if you have, do not have a buy-in from people who have land on the way from your plant to the substation, uh, then there will be issues later on. So you have to, most of this, you, if, if you see the single scheme that runs through the, my entire presentation is, if you do not have your planning right, if you have not thought at before the selection of the site, uh, then you are going to have face issues. If you leave something to chance that uh, this I will do it at a later stage, then th there are chances that you will have issues in that issue. You cannot have, you cannot have a situation where you don't speak to the landowners 
uh, start up your plant. These are very, very basic. Uh, I am uh, of course aware that most of the developers and the EPC community is aware about this, but I have just kept it in mind see, since there are a lot of um, people from other backgrounds as well. Uh, a very similar point is connectivity at the substation. You have to have the approvals, you have to know that there are appropriate spaces available, uh, say 4 to 5, uh, 4 into 5 square meters of space is roughly available and then you have those approvals also in place. All planning of uh, right of way, bay extension needs to be planned in very, very much in advance. Finally, uh, uh, the commissioning will happen only on the synchronization. So all those approvals related to synchronization. PTCC, CIEG, all those approvals also you need to uh, plan and schedule uh, along with your plant commissioning so that once the time your plant is ready, your synchronization also can happen as soon as possible. Post the uh, substation or the grid connection issues, uh, we'll come to on-ground construction issues. One of the first thing that needs comes to mind is that you have a road approach road which is uh, there to the side. Otherwise, what will happen is most of your material will be carried by hand and that may lead to um, issues with the material, especially with modules where there might be micro cracks and things like that. And it is avoidable that the material is carried by hand. So that is one of the first thing that you, uh, in case the approach is, road is already not there. Uh, you need to plan for the weather, uh, uh, especially when it comes to piling and all. Uh, if there is drilling, so obviously your piling work is going to get hampered. You will have to either stop work or you will have to add resources in terms of both men as well as material. Number three point is here is the fencing of the plant. Your plant needs to be uh, covered from all across so that uh, boundary related issues are not there. There is one more issue related to boundary or fencing which is in terms of theft. But you cannot stop material coming to your site till the time the boundary is erected. So material will come you, uh, because uh, construction of such large areas are suppose for a 23 megawatt you have 100 acres of land. So the erection of the boundary wall also takes time. So you cannot hold the construction of material to come till the time my boundary wall is up. Uh, safety, uh, as Monica has already mentioned that uh, you have a large number of workers there. Uh, uh, their uh, safety is paramount, material, safety of the material is paramount. So you have to have helmets, jackets, shoes, safety shoes and you have to ensure that people wear those otherwise uh, a typical labor issue attitude is that avoid wearing these because these are heavy and avoid have some kind of a hindrance in their work. So they typically have an attitude to avoid uh, using these equipment. So you have to ensure the use of these equipments. Um, storage is done properly. Uh, both to avoid uh, theft as well as to damage to the equipment. Land and dilutions and table markings may change from the initial drawings. So you have to have an initial survey done, uh, which is a detailed survey and ensure that everything is compatible. Then there is an issue related to availability of material. So you, before the site work starts, you have to have tie-ups with local vendors uh, in terms of things. Um, like sand, water, uh, JCB machines, whatever uh, are required in the project. So that uh, not only are these available, you have tie-ups for them so that uh, you don't have to have uh, uh, negotiations, long pen, uh, uh, stretching uh, negotiations going on. Theft, I think I have already covered. So this will be all from my side. I think it's a very brief and uh, short presentation. Thank you.